is Royal Adesanya versus Philip Verlinden. The first fight took place in Istanbul, Turkey back in 2014 on Glory 15. This fight was probably a step up in competition at the time for Israel and was his first bout on Glory. Philip was coming down a weight class and was big at the weight, whilst Israel was still a young man and filling out physically. Around this time he was still able to fight a few kg lighter. This is a fight where Israel did not have his usual advantage in attributes which in my opinion proves to be one of the main factors in Israel losing the match. Philip was fighting out of Niki Hemmer's gym in Holland. He has a strong Dutch style utilising punch combinations, a tight guard and a heavy emphasis on low kick counters. At the time he was a veteran of 50 plus fights as well as being in his 30s making him mentally mature and unfazed by the platform. Israel was still refining his skills and was not yet the polished fighter we see today but was still brilliant even at this early stage in development. Philip used the strategy of when he got hit, he would take the shots mostly on the gloves and then use that to immediately counter with a kick, knowing he would be in range to land. With him being the same size as Israel, Izzy struggled to read it in time and would often be caught, disrupting his rhythm. This was a good fight and fantastic learning experience for Israel and a solid performance from Philip. Israel remained competitive, didn't take any real big shots, but was just outworked and outhustled by a more mature fighter with equal attributes. This was one of Izzy's first real losses within the sport of kickboxing, where the judges hadn't robbed him and he was beaten fair and square. Now was the time for him to go back to the drawing board and improve upon his skills. The second fight would take place two years later, despite what the inaccurate Wikipedia might say, on a WF show in China. Izzy had been grinding away having numerous fights in quick succession, picking up some impressive wins against some top competition. In this fight you can really see the difference in him physically. You can hear the difference in the impact of his shots and his ability to control range leveled up massively. The coaches of City Kickboxing have done a phenomenal job nurturing the talent in New Zealand and this fight you can really see the attention to detail. Israel uses various pieces of footwork, hand measures and better shot selection to pick Philip apart. He had many of these skills in the previous encounter but now they were more refined and matched by Izzy's improved athleticism. Philip being the veteran that he was was still unfazed and kept a strong poker face throughout, mounting occasional offensive attacks. But overall, Izzy was just too slick for him and the improvements he had made showed. He cruised to a unanimous decision in a classic performance. Thus avenging one of his only real losses in the sport. I had the pleasure of training with Israel for a short period of time in China. And I'll be a fan of his until he hangs up the gloves. If you like the video, please like, subscribe and share. Again, thank you from Pro Striking. He's the only guy that ever beat me in, um, in any fight. And he beat me with experience and with um, a good game plan. So he tried some of the old stuff, but he wasn't able to get it off because my coach over here studied the game and we knew how to retaliate to his, uh, to his uh, moves. You know? He tried some new things, but I've evolved. That was two and a half years ago. I've, I've become a stronger guy. You can see I've got muscle now. Yeah. I'm faster. Well, Tai Kuala, Kuala, Kuala. And we had a game plan which was uh, based on the first fight to change a few things, and the things that we changed were. So, yeah.